Hi, God bless you. Thank you for picking this video. My name is Jose Luna, Evangelist Jose Luna, to serve you as best as I can. In this video, we're going to go over 25 Bible verses about faith. And we're not going to um, explain the verses. We're just going to read them and hopefully receive a blessing from them. On your own, you can evaluate these verses and be blessed by them. Amen. The first verse we're going to look at is in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16, verse 17. Chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. And it says the following, I pray that out of His glorious riches He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you be rooted and established in love. Amen. Praise God. God is good every day. Every day God is good. That is a beautiful message right there. The second verse we're going to look at is in Mark chapter 11 verse 24. And it says the following, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received this and it will be yours. Amen. Praise God. The third verse we're going to look at is in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. And it says the following, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The fourth verse is in Romans chapter 15 verse 13. And it says the following, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. God is good every day. Every day God is good. The fifth verse we're going to look at is in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. And it says, For we live by faith, not by sight. Amen. Praise God. God is good every day. Every day God is good. The sixth verse we're going to look at is in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 6. And it says the following. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Amen. Praise God. God is good every day, every day God is good. And the seventh verse we're going to look at is in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. And it says the following, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists, and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. The eighth verse we're going to look at is in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 8 and 9. And it says the following, Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end results of your faith the salvation of your souls. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The next verse we're going to look at is in James chapter 1 verse 3. And it says the following, Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Hallelujah. Amen. The tenth verse we're going to look at is John chapter 11 verse 40. And it says the following, then Jesus says, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the eleventh verse we're going to look at is in John chapter 11, verse 25 through 26. And it says the following. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? 
Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The 12th verse we're going to look at is in Romans chapter 14, verse 1. And it says the following, Accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The 13th verse we're going to look at is in 1st book of John, chapter 5, verse 4. And it says the following, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. John, the 14th verse we're going to look at is in 1st Timothy, chapter 6, verse 11. And it says the following, but you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good every day. Every day God is good. The 15th verse we're going to look at is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. And it says the following, If I have the gift of prophecy, and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The 16th verse we're going to look at is in the Old Testament, Psalms chapter 119, verse 30. And it says the following, I have chosen the way of faithfulness, I have set my heart on your laws. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the 17th verse we're going to look at is in the book of John, chapter 6, verse 35. And it says the following, Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The 18th verse we're going to look at is in Mark chapter 10, verse 52. And it says the following, Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The 19th verse we're going to look at is in the New Testament, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 10. And it says the following, For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Hallelujah. Amen. The 20th verse we're going to look at is in Mark chapter 9 verse 23. And it says the following, If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The 21st verse we're going to look at is in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 11. And it says the following, And by faith even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful, who had made the promise. Amen. God's promises are true. Hallelujah and faithful. Hallelujah. And the, Amen. And the 22nd verse we're going to look at is in John chapter 3 verse 16. And it says the following. For God so loved the world that he gave his, only, his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God is good every day, every day God is good. The 23rd verse we're going to look at is in the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 and 27. And it says the following, So in Christ Jesus you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. Amen. Praise God. The 24th verse we're going to look at 
is in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 17, and it says the following, For in the gospel the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith, from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the 25th verse we're going to look at is in Mark chapter 16, verse 16. And it says the following, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Word of God is fruitful and it stands on its own merits and on its own truth and faithfulness. If you would like to pause the video at some point in time to jot down, to write down the verses, you can do so. You can rewind this video and do that if you want. These verses are a blessing to you. You can use them in prayer to praise God and glorify God and tell God these are your promises. I want to be a part of your promises and I receive your promises in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, this is all for this video. I hope this video and its verses have been a blessing to you and that you are edified through the Word of God and blessed fully. Thank you and take care.